the call to the post for today's ninth and final race. The field is just paraded for the Hunter and Farm late closer two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Dwayne Paulson, by the way, with that call to post. He is a pursuing a master's degree in trumpet at EKU. Scratch the four Holly Hill bow. Kurt Sugg drives the seven Super Pan. The race offers exacta and trifecta with six minutes remaining till post. The track is fast. Field is now less than an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off in pacing. Give him six is away. Well, Super Pan is there and Spirit Rider also along with Robo Mac down toward the inside. John Campbell puts the wraps on Spirit Rider wanting to drop him in about fourth down next to the rail and they will do so just in front of Dry Dock around the turn. Then Make the Mark is next followed by Chips and Sparks next to last. Devil can the early trailer. Meanwhile, Robo Mac comes out of the pack with the lead. Give him six. We'll drop in behind him second. The front quarter in 28. They're on to the back stretch. Super Pan is traveling in third, but there goes Give Him Six. He's moving off the rail to get the lead well before the half. Robo Mac is now in second spot. Super Pan is third by two. Then Spirit Rider, who's been parked all the way, is fourth and still moving on the outside. Make the mark, moves up fifth behind him, and those two are gearing up and moving quickly, and now they're taking command at the half. The new leader, Spirit Rider, in 57-1. and one. Make the mark is trying to grab second on the outside of Give Him Six, who's now back into third. Dry Dock is to the outside and fourth, but he's four lengths from the lead with Robo Mac to his inside. Devilkin is traveling in the sixth spot. He has Chips and Sparks right behind him. And finally, Super Pan is all the way out to last. At the three quarters, Spirit Rider has the lead by just a length. Make the mark is going to have to reach down and find a little more than that. He's still hanging third. In fact, Give Him Six has taken second back away from him. Off three quarters and 125 and two. And Spirit Rider now passes the eighth pole on almost a two length lead, but Give Him Six is coming to the outside with Devilkin third. Spirit Rider short lead. Give Him Six under a repeated whip is not closing any ground. Devilkin may catch him, but the winner is going to be Spirit Rider. And Spirit Rider takes the win by a length, but Devilkin second, and give him six was third. Yeah. Three eight six official on today's ninth race. Steve and Cindy Stewart and Hunter and Farm, well known at the annual yearling sales. In fact, they offered a number of yearlings recently here at the Kentucky Venues, and now. This division of the Hunter and Farm, late closer for two-year-old Pacers, goes to Spirit Rider and Apache's fame, trained in the Bob McIntosh Stable. Bob McIntosh Stables Incorporated and Newman Racing Stable Inc. co-own this colt, driven by John Campbell and bred by Cantario Farms to the win in 154 and 3. Prices now, 3.8 exact to $22.20. On the 386 trifecta, $111.60, and 2-3 on the late double today, $7.50.